hello everyone welcome back in this video we will see uh, some sample examples for using handlers in the ansible playbook so as i mentioned uh, in my previous video handlers are just like other tasks that we use in the playbook so the difference will be uh, here we will be using the notify statement and uh, that will be executed only when there is any change in the state on the managed nodes so here uh, we'll see uh, some example how we can you know use the handlers for the single task so i'm going to use an example for installing the latest apache version So I'm just going to test all my managed nodes or reachable. Okay, so I get the success. So I'm going to uh, install the latest version of Apache on server A. I'm just going to check the current version. not match host so let me use the wildcard okay so currently i have a 2.4.6 iphone 9 7 version so i'm going to install the latest version of apache so let me uh, write some playbook for that Okay, you can give any name here. So I'm giving install Apache on server A. Okay, so the host going to be server a.acg.com. And next, uh, we need to specify the task here, installing the latest version of Apache. And I uh, will be using the M module and the name of the package HTTPD and the state going to be the latest version of Apache available okay and then I'm going to use the notify statement for starting the Apache server start Apache Okay, and uh, next I'll be using the handler. And the handler name going to be start Apache. And here we need to start the Apache service. So we have to use the service module and the service of Apache state started okay i'm going to save this playbook ansible playbook and let's do dot yaml i'm just you can check the syntax okay
okay so this playbook consists of a regular uh, task that we usually use in the playbook to uh, run any kind of task and uh, this uh, task will install the apache http server on the managed node which is server a so once installed then uh, since uh, there will be you know changes made on the managed node then it will trigger the handlers and then the handlers will start the services so let me uh, run the playbook Okay, now let me check the version of Apache using the add hoc command. Okay, previously we had uh, 2.4.6-97. Now we got the latest version 9.8. Since uh, there was a change in the uh, state, it triggered the handler to restart the apache service so if we uh, execute the playbook again the handler task will not run because there will not be any changes will be made on the target host okay let me uh, execute the playbook again So here, as you can see, uh, it says OK for uh, the installing uh, latest version of Apache task. And you don't see the handler here. Only uh, in the previous run, we see it is changed because it has installed the latest version of Apache. That is why it has uh, also executed the handler to start the Apache service. Okay, so next uh, we'll see how we can use multiple task and handlers. So in most of the cases, we will be dealing with using multiple tasks uh, and that requires multiple handlers. So here I'm going to just uh, use the existing handler that we just uh, tested and uh, here I'll be adding one more task and handlers so uh, we have installed the Apache latest version and uh, next uh, we will you know um, so this time let's uh, use on a different server to install the latest uh, version of Apache and then configure the firewall as well So let me check the version of another server. Okay, on server B also, I have 9.7 version. So let me install the latest here and then Let's use the firewall. Okay, here let me change it to server B. So I'm going to use another task for the firewall.
okay so i'm going to just copy uh, some index.html configure apache so i'll be using the copy module so under home sysadmin and sybil i have index.html file and uh, i am going to copy this to the destination under war www.html okay i'm going to specify the owner of that file apache and then group for that file also apache and setting up the uh, permission 0644 okay so in the first module first task i'm installing the latest version of apache and in the second task i'm configuring the apache to you know copy the index.html file to the managed node and then i'm going to use the notify statement and here i'm going to use to notify to trigger the handler so one will be configuring the firewall and second will be starting the apache service okay so uh, first it will start the apache and uh, next i'm going to allow the http in the firewall so here the name will be configure firewall so we need to use the firewall module i'm going to make it permanent and uh, immediate service which service i'm going to allow so the firewall service for uh, Apache is HTTP and uh, the service for Apache is HTTP D and the state enabled. Okay, now I'm going to save this playbook. So I have the index.html uh, file in this location okay so let me execute the playbook i'm just going to uh, make some small changes here uh, because uh, here i have only mentioned uh, enable firewall but in case if the firewall is not running it will not you know enable it so let me first uh, start the firewall service and then enable it so let's um, Modify a little bit. Enable firewall. And uh, start firewall. So here I'm going to use another handler. Name start firewall. And the firewall service would be firewall D and state started. And next it will enable the firewall. Okay, so now I'm going to run the playbook.
okay so here we can see the task which is install the latest version of apache and then configure apache task will copy the index.html file into the managed node and then it is running the handler so first it runs the start apache and then start firewall and then enable firewall so i'm just opening the uh, playbook in a new tab so here you can see the first task it runs and then the second task and then if you uh, notice here we have mentioned the order first enable firewall and start firewall and then start apache and you need to make sure uh, the same uh, name should be used in the handler for this name and also it doesn't matter what order you specify in the notify section but uh, the playbook will execute the order that you mentioned in the handler section because uh, here we first mentioned the enable firewall but in the playbook that is uh, here it is starting from the start apache because uh, in the handler section we have specified the start apache first and then the firewall and then the enable firewall okay since the firewall is already running we don't see the changed status but the rest of them you see it is changed but if you run this playbook again then you will not see any changed status because there will not be any changes made on the managed node Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.